What up, peeps? It's Gabe. And Babe. And we're here to do our 50 random facts. Finally. Yes, finally. So let's get started. I crossed the Iraq border the day the war started in 2003. I am left-handed. Yes, that's right. Very special people we are. Shout out to all the left-handed people out there. I spent close to six years in Iraq and Afghanistan. I've never had a broken bone. I have two brothers 10 plus years older than me. I'm pretty sure I was an accident. But you ask my parents, they'll say I wasn't. I am the oldest of six. Yes, all girls and one boy. I'm the first male in my family to earn a bachelor's degree. Female, too. My parents were told that I was a boy, so it was not until I came out of the womb that they realized I was Gabriel instead of Gary Jr. <laughs> I am commonly referred to as Kobe on the court. Seriously, Kobe. I was an extra on Girlfriends way back in my acting days. Don't ask me what episode though because I honestly I can't remember. I'm allergic to bees. I'm not scared of bees, I'm just allergic to them. So, I gotta stay away. I cannot stand bees. I hate bees with a passion and like now, there's something buzzing around right now and it's, it's bothering me, but I just, I, oh, I just can't stand them. And I have been stung twice before, once on the tongue and in the ear. So it's like they pick the worst places to get me. I'm not a fan. My favorite movie is Titanic. Some of you know that, but I love Titanic. Hence why my car was named Rose and why the truck is named Jack. I am a lip gloss addict, like, lip gloss on the side of the bed i keep one in my purse in the diaper bag in the car in the living room like i have to have lip gloss everywhere that i am because i need it at a moment's notice i used to be very shy i mean ridiculously shy i'm allergic to dogs and it wasn't until after i got oscar that i found this out so now i just make sure i have zyrtec on deck breakfast is my favorite meal I could eat it for every meal, every day. I've been in about seven, maybe eight accidents, car accidents, in my entire life. And probably four or five of them have been my fault. Seems kind of bad, huh? <laughs> my first celebrity crush that I can remember was Angela from Boy Meets World. Not Topanga, Angela. I'm something like a hoarder. I hold on to any and everything. Like I have notebooks from the third grade tucked away in storage somewhere. Like I have a lot of stuff and it's really hard for me to let things go and throw them away. It's becoming a bit of a problem. My favorite sports teams are Alabama, <laughs> Roll Tide, Miami Heat, Go Heat, and the Indianapolis Colts. Don't ask me, I'm all over the place, I get it, but whatever, it's me. I used to work at the Hustler Casino in Gardenia, California, and that was pretty fun. I still have wisdom teeth on my right side. The army got lazy and only pulled one side. I was once in a Playboy Bunny contest. Can you believe that? I wore the little outfit and everything. It was a lot of fun. I hate talking on the phone. I don't really like texting either, but it's better than talking. I also hate talking on the phone. Like, cannot stand it. I would rather just not. I've been pulled over at least six times and have only gotten a ticket once. I don't know, I guess I just sweet talk the cops. I don't know, I'm lucky. My very first concert was none other than MJ. Yes, I got to see Michael Jackson in concert and it was freaking awesome. I was young, I was probably in like first grade, but I just remember being so excited. Like that was the best concert ever, hands down. And I've been to a lot of concerts, the best. I absolutely love staying in hotels. I mean, I love hotels. I get so excited. I'm like a child when it comes to staying in a hotel. I like to think of myself as an introverted extrovert. Yes, I know it sounds strange, but I really am. Look it up. I have a notebook problem. I have to go into the stationary aisle of every single store we go into. 
and I even go in gas stations and I bought notebooks from gas stations because sometimes they got good stuff, hidden gems. It's like a thrift shop. I love to count. Yes, I will count anything like letters on a billboard, tiles on the kitchen floor, like anything that I can count, I'll count it. If I could have any accent in the world, I would want it to be a British accent. I love British accents. My very first rap CD was none other than Tupac, All Eyes on Me, yes. And I bet you will never guess who bought that for me, my mother. <laughs> and as soon as I start playing it, she was like, oh no, you can't listen to that. She had no clue what she was buying. She just thought she was buying, you know, good music. Oh, it was good, it was good and inappropriate. I got in trouble a lot as a kid. You can ask my parents, you can ask Mark, they will tell you plenty of stories and 95% of them are true. I'm what they call a cereal dieter. Like, I have tried everything under the sun. Like, no lie, at least 10 diets. And I'm really not even that old to be trying 10 diets, but I have tried everything under the sun. You name it, I've done it. I love romantic movies, and especially romantic comedies. I mean, they're the best, especially when you get to cuddle up with the person you love and you get to watch them. I love me some Mexican food. I mean, I could eat Mexican every day, all day. Like, if there was nothing else in the world but Mexican, I would be a happy camper. I never had asthma as a kid, but I have asthma now developed from when I was in Iraq. My mother and I wore matching clothes until I was like 16 years old. Like, complete matching outfits. Like, the exact same thing until I was well into my teenage years. It was so embarrassing. <laughs> I don't think I've ever stayed in a hotel without taking the pin. And if they don't have a pin in the room, which some don't, I ask the front desk for a pin. I love the hotel pins. I've got a ridiculous collection. I don't use them. I just like them. I used to have the biggest gap in between my front teeth. Like, it was huge. And I had it until I was like well in my mid-20s, probably 25, 26, and then I got it closed. But it was pretty big. I'm addicted to real estate shows. I am super duper sensitive, but you would never know it from the outside. Like, unless you knew me, you'd probably be able to read me, but you'd never ever know it. In my past life, I had to have been a break dancer or some kind of dancer because I'm always dancing. I'm not that good at dancing, but I'm always dancing. Ask Gabe, she laughs at me quite a bit. My, my favorite, favorite holiday, holiday is, is Christmas. Christmas. I am a morning person. I love mornings. And for that reason, my body also does not know how to sleep in. Like, I'm up before 8 o'clock every day. Like, it's just not possible for me to sleep past 8, maybe 9 o'clock, and that's pushing it. I had a really serious bladder surgery when I was 11 years old. Fiasco, but I'm fine now. I had a jerry curl until I was in the eighth grade, like 1993. Yes, jerry curls were way out of style by the time I got rid of mine. Thanks, Nana. But wait, there's more. Bonus time. My nickname is Gerber because my mother thought that I looked so much like the Gerber baby when I was born. I had big eyes, no hair, obviously no teeth. So my nickname became Gerber. My brother Mark is my best friend. Gabe is my, you know, best friend in general, but Mark's like my best male friend. I am not a fan of darkness. Like, I cannot stand for it to be dark in the house. When I get home, I turn on every single light in every room. I don't even have to be in the rooms. Like, I will flip on all the lights, and I, I just like brightness. I have to go into every bookstore we go by. I mean, I love bookstores. I don't usually ever leave with a book, but usually it's a magazine, but I love bookstores. How can you not like bookstores? I'm a loner. Like, no really. <laughs> I enjoy my quiet time. I like to be by myself. I actually prefer it that way. If I do buy a book, I don't ever finish it before I start another book. I just read half of it, and then I get interested in another book. It's Problem. I once got my hand caught in a conveyor belt at the airport. <laughs> like, how that happened, I have no clue. I was young, probably like seven or eight, but I have the scars still. 
Like, it was tragic. <laughs> Not really. I've always wanted to manage a hotel. Still do. Yeah, my husband is so corny. Yeah, so what? I'm corny. She loves it. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the 50 Random Facts video. Yes, and if you did like it, be sure to share it with your friends. And if you have not subscribed, please do so. And don't forget to check out our previous videos over here. And if you'd like to see what's going on over at the Gate Fix, check out this video over here. Alright guys, we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. See ya. The jet ski <laughs> or the boat, whatever. I'm not scared of bees, I'm just allergic. To Are you kidding me right now? The one day we want to come out here for real. Breakfast is my favorite meal. I could eat breakfast every day. like these people are playing now. Like for real. For real, for real. But wait, if you're watching now, there's more. Make sure you subscribe. No, wait. Okay, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you yes, it's a whole hot. Okay. You ready? What you shushing me for? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you ready? Yes. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the 50 random facts. <laughs>